Don't kill me, make you carry me go. Ha! It's your fault! It's your fault! It's your fault, my prince. Udogunago. Mm. What's the reason for this excitement? It's your fault. I bet you, if you were in my shoes, you would probably be somersaulted. <laughs> <laughs> my ears are itching, my prince. I can't wait to hear you. <clears throat> it's your fault. I am happy. Still listening, my prince. I will tell you. I will tell you. The party. It was actually Nancy's birthday party. I can't believe this. Nancy. Believe me, bro. Yes. It's your fault. Let me give you the best part of it. Hey, listen to me, listen, listen. She even promised to come see me. Here. She promised to come here? Right here. Right here. <laughs> ah, thank God I listened to my mom and attended that party. Life. It's your fault. You know, life, life is just fun. Sometimes you hustle and hustle and hustle and hustle and chase something and chase it and chase it and just when you're about to give up, it just falls into your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. Hey, my prince, you don't mean it. It's your fault. Odogu Nabo. Call me by name again. Udodiba, one of ladies and money. <laughs> So after the whole stress, after the whole difficulties this girl gave us, finally she succumbed. And this good news. This is good news. I want you to go to my room and rearrange everything. Take off that old best spread and go to the store, get a new one. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Where are you? How you do? Oh, my son. So nice to see you in this mood. I wonder what's making you so happy. <laughs> you will not understand. <laughs> you see, there is this business I've been tracking for quite a while now. And it's not been working. But yesterday, God in his infinite wisdom decided to answer my prayers. That's interesting. But please, let's come down to the reality of the party we went to yesterday. Mom, um, um, I see nothing wrong with the way I behave. I behave like every other normal person. I am the only one that can tell you the real truth. You really have to change your character, your behavior. Mom, um, 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 can we, can we leave my behavior out of this, please? And as for that girl, Nancy, oh, I'm ready to do anything and everything to get her into my life. Then go ahead and do it. Huh? Not without your assistance, Mom. Mom, you are a woman. And she's a woman, I believe. She will understand you. My dear, the onus is on you. Uh, well, yeah, no, the onus is on me, but you also have a role to play as well, Mother. Come on, look at me. Look at me. I'm not like this. She's different. Nancy is different. She's not like all the other girls you, you know, arrange for me. She's, she's special. And you, Mom, you are special as well. You can help. Come on, you can get what you want. <laughs> I know you can help me, <laughs> But you look good. Did you? I didn't know it was our father, the senator, who fixed the, the party for me. I had no idea. <laughs> uh, didn't I tell you that before? Eh? Whoever that doesn't fall for you, hey, hey, that person must be something else. <laughs> Indeed, she is special. Yes, special. And surprisingly, very humble. <laughs> but, Prince, uh, why are you so much interested in that case, sir? At your age, you're supposed to be enjoying life. <laughs> In fact, other princes I know, uh, at their old age, they are not even... But I know of um, Prince George Wake of well, and you know him. At 48, he's not yet married. Eh? One of them, Tifalo, Tifalo. 
I don't know why your own will be different. Prince, if I may suggest, why don't you forget that girl? After all, all girls and girls not be the same thing. If you eat from this one, you eat from this one. Prince, what of my weekly dose? When are you going to give it to me? Your weekly dose is cut. Please, why now? I have spoken. It is fine. Please, what I have said will not make you angry. Please, please. Same here. It's great to see you. Mm, finally. Nice dress. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome to my... my match. Obviously. <laughs> Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Finally. Lovely. What do I offer you? Um. Nothing, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, come on. You can't say that. You just come into my place and, hey, I'm a prince, in case you've forgotten. I have everything. Everything you can think of under this roof. Make your choice. Water. Water is fine. Just water. Mm, perfect. All right. Water you shall get. John. John. Yes, my prince. Come here. Get her a glass of water. Okay, nice place you have here. Really nice. I know. Thank you. You know, when I got it, it was it looked big, but right now it's so, so small for me. I'm making arrangements for a bigger place. Yes, worth 45 million bucks. And once it pulls through, oh, you'll love it. Trust me. I, I like this place. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me about yourself. You know, your childhood, upbringing, career, everything. I honestly think there's nothing you don't know about me already. On the contrary, I only know that you are Nancy Odogu, daughter of Senator Odogu, a first class graduate of Harvard University. Brilliant. But you still mingle with those charlatans. Charlatans you call your friends. Come on, hairdressers. <laughs> that is insulting. You should step up. You know, move with people of your status, people of your class, people, people like me. Good afternoon, my prince. There is a man at the gate. I told him he have an important visitor, but he refused to go. Should I bring him in? Are you crazy? Huh? Why are you so dumb? I've told you, you don't... You don't bloody interrupt me. Now leave. Get out!
change. I blame the filthy mother who gave birth to you. Oh, please. Forgive. Oh. Forgive him. Oh, it's nothing I honestly think I should be taking my leave now. Oh, come on. You can't do that, are you? You just got here. We don't, we've not even had time to, you know, talk. Oh, I, I have gotten to know much more than I can imagine. I, I really should take my leave now. Oh, why are you doing this? So far. Perhaps some other time I'd gladly spend time here with you, but for now I, I should go. Thank you. Listen, wait, Nancy, Nancy, calm down. Let's wait. Nancy. Nancy, 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 Hey, come here. Why did you choose to come in at that time? Your Highness, I am very sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Please be merciful. Please. You, you, you're very sorry. Must. Shut up! If I lose Nancy, you are dead. Hear me, you're dead. Now get out of my sight. My prince, you mean she left just like that? Honestly, I am still surprised. I mean, why did she visit in the first place? Why? Leave me out of here. That girl, she's just... She's just crazy. She acted completely weird. I mean, to think she left her house, to come see me. Then just when we were getting to know each other, she, boom, just, she just goes like that. I'm so touched. Why I'm so touched is that you spend the better part of this week waiting for this August Vista of yours. Who turn out to act this way? The lady is not even the problem. The problem is my stupid gig man. I mean, how could he badge in at that, that very moment because of some bloody, bloody insurance man? You don't mean it. My prince, without meaning to undermine your authority, the gate man has to be sacked. Oh, oh, it's your fault. Don't even go there. Don't go there. If she comes again without seeing the gate man, who knows what she'll do next. Don't go there. So what next? Oh, wait. We'll just wait and watch. Very well then, if you say so, my prince. And to what do I owe this? Listen. 
I'm actually sorry for badging in on you. But the truth of the matter is that I did not come to see you. I have come to see Nancy. Oh, really? I hope all is well. Yes, everything is okay. Just woman to woman talk. <laughs> woman to woman talk? Okay, but uh, uh, Nancy! 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 She was up here. <laughs> so, how has it been? We are very well, we thank God. <laughs> we are pushing uh, <laughs> things gradually. Yes, Dad. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Nancy, uh, Her Majesty. Her Majesty. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. How are you? Very well, Your Majesty. Well, uh, since you said it's a woman to woman talk, let me excuse myself. It's okay. <laughs> All right, very well. Thank you. <laughs> Please, come in, Your Majesty. No, my dear. I prefer here. Let's stay out here. Very well, then. <laughs> my dear. Please. I want you to take over from me. You know what I mean? I want you to become the next queen when I'm gone. I want you to marry the prince, my son. <laughs> I can't think of anyone else. Um, Your Majesty, I mean, with, with all due respect, I, I, I mean, the prince and I are a total mismatch. I always knew that marriage is not something you arrange. I mean, gone are the days when it used to be arranged. I am not unaware about that. I mean, because of the urgency. Your Majesty, there are no such things as urgency when it comes to marriage. As if you rush in, you'll certainly rush out. Beyond that, Your Majesty, it has to have a starting point. Relationship courtship and then it matures your majesty the prince is not a child he knows when to make the right move he know he knows what steps to take he's wasting too much time it's up to him your majesty i was at his mansion the other day really yes oh that's why i said he knows what steps to take really yes your majesty. i see your Majesty. <laughs> uh, uh, Nancy, did you not take Her Majesty in and offer that something to drink? I declined. Really? I'm okay, distinguished. I'm just okay here. I hope the discussion is coming on very well. By His Grace, it will. Very well then. Sweetheart, I have to rush off uh, for an appointment, okay? I have to see Senator Zainab. So do take care of yourself and make sure Her Majesty is uh, okay. I will. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> Uh, Musa? Musa? My dear. Uh, what is going on? You know many people. Sometimes you have to give them fish. You have know, to do what they really want to do. Um, yes, yes, your majesty. Son, I call you here because of the issue at hand. Okay. So, the meeting, how, the, how did it go? Wonderful. Nancy is a wonderful girl. Mother, of course I know she's a wonderful girl. I want to know what she said. She doesn't believe in matchmaking. You have to go for what you want and go direct. Mom, I think the senator has to know. The girl I met is not a pushover. She has a mind of her own. Do I do? Take up the challenge. Fight like a man. Go for what you want and get it. This is your fight and no one else's. Oh. Oh. Oh, from what I've seen of her, it's really going to be tough. Nothing good comes easy, my dear. You must fight like a man. She said. She came to see you in the house. Yes, she did. That means she has serious interest. Just go and get what belongs to you. Fight! Like the prince of the land of Mumunjoko.
déjà fort. I'll go there myself. Why, my prince? Why? I, I don't understand, my prince. I have been with you for so long, and you've never done anything by yourself. So why now? Jafar, you may not understand. This is a special situation, and it requires special attention. I'll take care of you. Oh, my friends. So, so what do I owe this advance visit? How are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. So, so what do I owe this visit, my friends? We need to talk. Let's talk inside. My God. Okay. You know, all my life, no girl has ever said no to me. No. Everybody wants me. All the girls want me. Spend time with me. Get a bit of me. But your friend Nancy, she's she's different. You know, she she doesn't give a damn about me. Like the sight of me irritates her. So. I need your help. I'm, I'm sorry, my prince. Did you come here because of Nancy? Oh. Yeah. I know you're her friend and you can help me. Okay. What exactly do you want me to do for you? I want to get to know more about her. And find out her little secrets. What she likes. What she dislikes. I want to know why she keeps acting up when she sees me. Yeah. Okay, fine. You know, Nancy is a very, very classy girl. I mean, she is classic. And as the daughter of the Senito, she graduated from Harvard University and came out of the first class honors. Mm hmm. All right. Go ahead. Okay, and if you really, really need to treat Nancy, yeah, you need to get her some expensive gifts. You need to get her some expensive things. Spoil her silly. Come on, you're the prince. Tell her you are the prince in the land. So, good things, expensive things. She loved them. Nah, uh, I don't think I go along with you. I've taken my time to study her. She doesn't strike me like that kind of person. No. I don't think she's the type that is easily moved by money or material things. I think you need to go back to the drawing board and come up with something different. But all the same, I'll give it a shot. Okay. Thank you for your time. Okay.
Thanks, Did you smoke? This is crazy. Does he smoke? Extremely expensive, I do. Oh, uh, nah. It's nothing. You don't know me. Believe me. I can buy a truckload of jewelry for you. Now you listen. I am not some high class girl that needs an uptown boy to come get her jewelry. I don't need your jewelry. Okay? Uh-uh. Hang on, hang on. Look, you're getting this whole thing wrong. And the whole thing appeared as if I was pouring fuel on some burning furnace. Why did you lie to me? I didn't lie to you. Honestly, my prince, I didn't know it wasn't going to work out. I'm sorry. Lies. My prince, I cannot lie to you. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, my prince. For the very, very last time. Why did you deceive me? My prince, please, can we stop talking about Nancy? Let's talk about us, instead of talking of a lesbian. She is a lesbian. What? What did you just say? Nancy a lesbian? My prince, I think it's about time I told you the truth. Can we forget about Nancy? Nancy likes girls only. She does not like men. At least I like guys. I'm here for you, my prince. Forget about Nancy. Hmm? My queens, I'm here. Oh. My prince, I don't believe this. It's just another tactic of hers to scare you away. She told me to my face that she prefers hanging out with ladies. So tell me, why would any normal, normal lady prefer hanging out with ladies? So is that your reason for believing Isabella? Of course. Or can you explain why she wouldn't be interested in having a relationship with me? Prince Akodo. Ododiba won. Every woman's dream. But my prince, if I could recall, you once said that Isabella was making advances at you in your car. Yeah. She likes me. Everybody likes me. So. It's not new to me. If Nancy is a lesbian, 
inevitably, Isabella and Mary are also lesbians too. Have you thought of that? Beds of the same feather? Don't try to confuse me. My prince, all I'm saying is that let's not just jump into conclusion. Hmm. So what do you suggest? <sighs> we unravel the truth. Thank you. I'm afraid this letter is not around for now. I have not come to see him. I want to see the daughter. Is she in? Yes, Your Majesty. Call her for me. Okay. Thank you. I can't believe you came all the way to see me for the same purpose. My dear, whatever it is that made me travel two hours on the road must be very dear to me. Of course, Your Majesty. I mean, obviously. Yes, I've come to find out how far you've gone with my son. I, I don't understand that, Your Majesty. My son told me both of you have concluded everything. I've come for us to fix a date. He told you that? Yes. My goodness. Is he lying? Is it not true? Put things clear to me. Your Majesty. Your son and I have nothing in common. We have nothing going. What do you mean by that? Your son and I are from two different worlds. You may not understand that. What world are you talking about? My dear, you are a woman just like me. Whatever, however you feel now, I, I beg you, love can start growing from there. Just have a think, please. Please, my dear.
Akudo, I am worried. I called you in here privately to let you know that the Jiribiris of this land are getting very impatient about us. Why don't you get a wife for me? Let's invite them for this coronation before they take away royalty from us. Of course they can't do that. My father did so much for this community before he died. We are still doing more. That is true. But they have exhausted their patience. They want you to get married so they can crown you their king. But he doesn't seem to be bothered about this whole issue. And well, that's where I have a problem with the throne. Getting married first. But all the same, I'm working on it. What about this Nancy Odobo? It's about time you left her. Let her go so you can find somebody else. Oh, you must be kidding. Of course you know I can't do that. But she doesn't seem to have any feelings for you. She even told me point blank that both of you belong to two different worlds. Look, Mom, we're not talking about my feelings here, but hers. And the more you say these things, Mom, the, the more it makes me want to be with her. Mom, the throne can wait. Or better still, let it go. But Nancy, I can't do without her mother. I'm sorry. What has this given to my son? My son that always had his way with women. He's not behaving like a lover boy. No, this is not ordinary. This girl has bewitched my son. No. I must consult a college. What? Yeah, Nancy. I've been trying to reach you all day. Yes, I've been busy. I see. All right, I just want to clear up something with you. My mother, the queen, said you told her that we are from two different worlds. What exactly do you mean by this? Prince, it simply means that even though we exist or inhabit in the same sociocultural space, we, we don't have the same mindset. I mean, we don't see life the same way. How do you mean? We're from two different worlds. We have two different philosophies of life. We don't belong to the same world. The world of the mind. World of the mind? Yes. What? What exactly? Hello?
You know love changes everything And oh love, oh, oh love Love changes everything Oh Love changes everything. Can you hear me singing, brother? Love? Oh, love. Oh, love. Oh, love. Love changes everything. Love changes everything. Yes, come in. Hey, look who is here. My name is Frank Carl. How are you doing? I'm doing great, sir. I'm doing great. Oh. And you, sir? I'm fine. Sit down. Thank you. So how is Her Majesty doing? Oh, mother. She's okay. Uh, have you visited the palace lately? Of course. Yesterday. Oh, okay, that's very nice of you. So what brought the young majesty to my office today? Prof, there is something I would like you to explain to me. And what can that be? Uh, Prof, if someone says this, we are not from the same world, world of the mind, what could that be? Very simple. It means that you don't have the same mindset with this very individual. Mindset? Yes, of course. Because your approach to life is different from that of the individual. Okay. Okay, um... Does it have anything to do with lesbianism or homosexualism? It depends on the context. Okay. Do the two have a link? Actually, they do. Because if you are a heterosexual, the way you see your emotional life is totally different from that of a gay person. It's two different worlds, two different minds. World of the mind. Mm -hmm. I think I have a clearer picture of it. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. I hope I didn't make a point. Uh, it's all right. I'll, I'll do my work. Okay. Thank you very much. My regards so, to you, man. Please, same to you here. Say hi to your mother for me. The great mother. Thank you. My prince, Isabella lied. How did you know? I confronted and threatened her. And she opened up to me. She said she actually wanted it because of your personality. She had to go against Nancy. She even begged me not to tell anybody, especially Nancy. Hmm. Jofo, my prince. Women are terrible. Your fault, my prince. Women are terrible. Do you know she almost discouraged me? And I have been, I've been so restless thinking about this. Mm. So, my prince, now you know the truth. So, where are we proving tonight after the dinner? What is wrong with you, Joe? Huh? What is wrong with you? You're talking about something serious here, you're talking about groove. Hey, mind you, your job is on the line if you don't get me that girl. So you better be fast. I'm sorry, my prince. Nancy's friend, right? Yes. Good evening, Prince Akudo. Wow, you know my name? Who doesn't know Prince Akudo in this town? You see? Please, stop kidding me. What's that? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how, how are you doing? I'm fine, and you? Uh, I don't know. 
I should be asking myself that question. Am I really fine? I think I am. You sure? Yeah, I think so. Okay, if you say so, that is, I have to run along. See you some other time. Okay. Um, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Please. Can I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, I, I won't take much of your time. Okay. Your friend, Nancy, she said something. She said, we live in two different worlds. Like Nancy and I. Said something about the world of the mind. Do you, you know what that means? Yes, but I don't think this is the right place for us to talk about this. Oh, uh, all right. Um, if you have a little time, can we go in there, please? Like I said, I will not take much of your time. Please. Promise? Promise. Okay. serious about Nancy. I thought you wanted to get to her pants as you're known for. Well, at first, that was what I wanted to do. Get to her pants, like you said. But somewhere along the line, I... I can't even explain what happened to me. I just don't know, but... I know I fell for her. I fell for her, yes, and it's deep, very deep. But she wouldn't give me the chance to explain this to her. She wouldn't give me the chance to let her know how I feel inside. Yeah, it's all about that. Two different worlds and the world of the mind. Yeah, that is what I want to know. Nancy has this philosophy in life that she holds on to very, very seriously. She hates social discrimination. She hates proud and arrogant men like you who treats other men with little or no respect just because they have better opportunities than them. Oh. I see. We met Nancy the day she came back from the States. We chatted and became friends with her. She invited us for a party in her house. It was in that party that we got to know that she's a senator's daughter. That she even graduated from Harvard University America with the first class honors. Imagine a girl from that class. She stooped so low to mingle with nobodies like us. People without surname. She treats us with maximum respect. Spends her money on arts without regrets. You know, it's really difficult for me to come to terms with it, but I think I've realized that Nancy is an angel, a rare gem. No wonder my heart keeps going for her. I just, I just can't let her go. I can't. So tell me, are you ready to come out of your world of pride and arrogance? Food. Yeah, Nancy, how is your boyfriend the prince? Are you alright? <laughs> My boyfriend. Anyways, I 
after the chain incident, he actually sent his mother, the queen, to come and speak to me on his behalf. Really? And as usual, I told her the prince and I are not compatible. Very good. So what did you do to the gift he gave to you? I did what I told you I did to it, could it? At least you would have given it to a friend. What friend? Listen girls, whatever that happened, I ran into him yesterday. Really? Yeah. I really spoke at length with him. Nancy, the prince loves you so much. Mary, can you tell me something else outside this love story? Something new, something new he said to you. Nancy, I spoke with him at length and I saw it in his eyes and his voice. You want me to hang around town with a man who's notorious and who's known to be arrogant? Is that the kind of person you want me to be seen around with all over town? That was then. The prince is a changed person now. For you, believe you me, he is. Mary, what are you trying to do right now? Bella, what I'm saying is that I really spoke with him and he poured out his heart to me. He's now a changed person. How much did he pay you? No. Stop it, Bella. So why all the sermon? Why are you preaching? Bella, I am only speaking on behalf of someone who has realized his mistakes and decides to correct it. Angel Gabriel, preach on, Pastor. Bella, okay, it's enough, it's enough, it's enough. It's enough, you two. You don't forget about the brief. It's, it's enough, really, really yes. it's, it's enough. It's enough! Okay. Ha! It's enough. <laughs> Something in my heart. Something in my heart. Aren't you dropping me off? Drop you where? My place, of course. As what? Hmm? As my girlfriend or my wife? Together, Bella. What I want is to strip you naked and see all them things you do. This drama is over. You have three minutes to pack your stuff, all your filthy things, and get out of my house, or I will order the guards to throw you out. Use your discretion. Okay. All right, good. Good, beautiful. Anything you want to do, however you want to do it, fine by me. All right. Okay. All right, I'll see you again. Right, good morning, my prince. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you guys doing today? We are doing great, my prince. Good. My prince, where are we heading to this morning? Ah. Uh, don't worry, I'll drive myself. You drive yourself? Yes, I'll drive myself. Henceforth, no more convoys. Hmm? All the. Alright. I prefer to be alone. Is everything okay, my prince? Everything is fine. Hmm? Don't worry, everything is fine. Are you sure? When I get back, we'll talk. Okay, my prince. Yeah. And nothing to worry about. I'll get you guys good jobs. Okay. 
Huh? Go away like this. Thank you. No convoy. Man, man, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Wins! Again, Mr. Oba. What? Yes, me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey. You see? Every worker has a payday. Today, it has come to pay you. Listen. We'll talk this over, okay? Put that thing down, it's very dangerous. Oh, shut up. Give me one reason why I should put the gun down. After disgracing me, I'm bringing me to public ridicule. If not for you, I would have been in my husband's house. Do I blame myself for being greedy? But! I will suffer it again. Look, I understand what you're saying. Just, just... Ah! Oh. Please, please. I beg you, I beg you, don't kill me. Please. Please, don't kill me. Please, I beg you, don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Please, don't kill me. To me, doctor. How about my son? I'm sorry, you heard this. Sorry for what? the chance to tell you that I really love you. I wish I would turn back the hands of time.